got some really exciting news from the creators of LSPDFR and LCPDFR. This week, they announce RDRFR. So this in the same tune as turning GTA 5 into a police simulator, they're trying to do that with Red Dead Redemption 2. So Red Dead Redemption 2 was just recently released on the PC. This has opened up all types of modding capabilities. I know there's a trainer already out there that lets you spawn bodyguards, weapons, uh, teleport around the map, change your character, things of that nature. But RDRFR plans to incorporate a full police mod into the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. This news comes from Sam at mod-rdr.com. We'll take a look at his announcement. He says, following closely in the footsteps of LSPDFR, the police mod for GTA 5, today we're excited to share some screenshots and details about our latest project, RDRFR, the upcoming police mod for Red Dead Redemption 2. Putting the player in the shoes of a lawman, RDRFR will bring a whole new dimension to Red Dead. Not only will you be able to walk the streets and roam the plains with the full authority of the law on your side, but we're creating something that's quite different too. Indeed, perhaps the true strength of RDR2 is that it is different. It's not just GTA in the West. There's more to it than that. It's a vast open world, has a level of detail, and the characters is setting the environment that's unmatched for any other open world free form game. With RDR, we have the opportunity to create an experience that's far more intimate and refined than any previous mod with a greater focus on interaction investigation as opposed to LA style car chases. Right off the bat, Sam's talking more about the investigation side of the law, going more in depth into interactions between characters. With LSPDFR, it could be quite limited and honestly, sometimes you just have to role play those types of interactions. Well, with Red Dead Redemption 2, apparently there's a system built into that game that's gonna allow for further interactions between your character, the police, and uh, your civilian. The first screenshot we're seeing, you can see our lawman. Then we have different options, including move along, question, confront. In the second screenshot, we've got, again, some different options. Stop in the name of the law, greet, antagonize. And these new contextual prompts is what's gonna differentiate this mod from LSPDFR in the words of the creator. Sam continues by saying, our focus at the moment is to finish developing an initial version of RDRFR as quickly as we can. There's no doubt that we've come a long way since RDR was first released on PC, but there's still so much that's still unknown about how the game works and what we can mod into it. With this in mind, instead of sitting on it for a couple of months as we try to get stuff perfect, we instead want to have the ball rolling within the space of some weeks let the mod grow and evolve naturally as we see how people play it and what sort of things should be added and focused on. This bit of information is really exciting. They're not gonna hold on to the mod. They're gonna release it in an early stage and form. And it sounds like they're gonna take feedback from the community in order to shape it and see what features people would want in this type of mod for Red Dead Redemption 2. The third screenshot, it looks like we've got somebody being arrested while another lawman or police officer is holding them at gunpoint. The caption says, some things haven't changed much though, like perps staring down the barrel of a pump action shotgun as you bring them in. The post finishes with saying, seeing Rockstar's latest open world epic from the eyes of the law is really fun. Being a lawman at the turn of the 20th century doesn't seem as cut and dry as being a police officer in a modern metropolis. We're hopeful that this offers a ton of potential for what a police mod for this game can become. We can't wait to see what happens with RDRFR and we're working day and night on getting the mod into your hands so that you can put on a star and lay down the law. Be sure to closely follow our website and Discord server for the latest news as we develop RDRFR, which we hope to bring a beta version as quickly as possible. If you haven't already done so, you might also wish to consider becoming a patron not only to support our work, which is completely free, but also for the latest insider scoops and special behind the scenes access as a thank you for your support. This post is really exciting. I'm really curious to see how this is gonna develop 
into a police mod the whole time red dead redemption 2 came out i was thinking are we gonna see some type of mod similar to lspdfr which lets you become an officer the laws back then they're a lot more i would say more floaty more there's not defined wall so you've got a lot more leeway in what you can do in terms of policing today which is honestly as it should be very regulated so this is the initial announcement i would love to hear your thoughts about this mod and what are some of the features you would like to see uh, to my knowledge there are no cars in red dead redemption 2 on uh, naturally uh, I don't know if the period was a little too early for that. Of course, there's horseback. Um, so I don't know if we'll actually see police cars in the game or not, but that's something that we've come to love with LSPDFR. But it, it, it is exciting. It's a whole new world. I've never played Red Dead Redemption 2. Still haven't purchased a game. But once this mod comes out, I definitely will be downloading it and checking it out here on the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.